for companies that have a, a pretty well-defined sales process, most of them have a champion building or, or building champion, uh, owning the champion, something around champions. And I think the top 1% do that well. They know what a champion is. They know how to differentiate a champion from a coach, someone that has actually the influence or the access or the power to get a deal done uh, versus someone who really likes what you do, but you know they just really like you and they'll tell you things but they can't move you through the, through the buying process at your customer. Um, so knowing how to build that, but if you take the champion process itself and you expand that to your reps and maybe even your personal life, to be honest. So if you're always building champions, so the top 1%, the first thing they do is they build their rep into a champion and then they put their rep into a position to, so that the SC can be there, the champion for the rep. And if you bond like that, and then you go to customers, you can almost finish each other's sentences which might seem inappropriate, but it does create that, that presence in front of a customer that this is really a team. And it allows them then to be focused on the customer and not to worry about if they're stepping on somebody's toes or if they're interrupting at an inappropriate time or if this rep's gonna be upset because they did X, Y, and Z. Having that really strong bond allows them both as a team to focus on the customer's needs. And so that would be my second thing is the, that they focus on customer value. So for example, a a really successful SC rep team um, that's not, I wouldn't consider in the 1%, but they're still successful. They might say something like, look, this .NET core application delivers um, credit card processing for the customer and we're gonna make that run better. I mean, it sounds valuable, but it's really still kind of this um, point solution. A top 1% person would say something like, but the customer's unable to see where their overnight credit card transactions are being dropped during the, during the batch processes. And, you know, they estimate they're going to lose $50 million this year because of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a solution that allows them to find those in process, stop the batch processing and keep them from losing money. Right. And if, when a customer hears that, you can take that story up and down the chain. And that's what the top 1% one, 1 folks, uh, I think they do really well. And then they own everything. They own everything. And even if you're you're talking about only SCs, but remember the top 1% have a bond with their reps, but they own everything as an SC. They own the relationship, they own themselves, they own accountability, they own uh, the customer. And when they do that in combination with the rep, it's it's really something to see and the customer appreciates it. <laughs>